Hi everyone, hope you're well. So this is the Libra um, May 2020 reading for the month. Um, I'm going to give a quick recap on what we can expect this month. So we have Beltane on the 1st of May. Some people start celebrating it on the 30th of April from the evening, but um, a lot of people celebrate from the 1st of May. Then um, on the 5th of May, before I touch on what's going on, on the 5th of May, I have um, uploaded a separate video um, called Energy Forecast and I discuss all of these things in depth. So please go look at that um, for more in-depth information about um, what I'm talking about here. Um, I do uh, explain where Beltane comes from and how you can honour um, and celebrate that time of year. Um, the information I have given is um, inform is things that you can do safely um, while we're in the process of socially distancing. So, um, so hopefully that helps. Um, so, yeah, we've got the um, lunar nodes shifting on the fifth of May, and. Um, they have been in Cancer and Capricorn since 2018. They are now um, shifting into Gemini and Sagittarius. On the 10th of May, no, I've skipped one. On the 7th of May, we have um, the full flower moon, which is also a super moon, and it's the last super moon of the year. Um, so uh, it's in Scorpio, so it is bringing some. Um, transformation with it um, and uh, shedding of the old so then we'll be moving on to um, on the 10th of May we'll be moving on to Saturn retrograde this is um, because it's quite slow it's much more subtle than other planets um, and on the 12th or 13th of May depending on where you are um, we have Venus retrograde in Gemini so the themes around that are to do with relationships with ourselves, um, other people and money and what healing and forgiveness can be brought forward for those things. Um, on what month? Um, we're in May, sorry. Um, and then we have Jupiter retrograde on the 14th of May. Um, so that's going to also be highlighting issues around finances. Um, then we move on to the 20th, which is when we shift into Gemini season. Because uh, obviously we're currently in those Taurus house energies. Um, and then on the 22nd we move into the new moon in Gemini. And uh, that's our lot for... May, um, fairly jam-packed in a small period of time so um, there will be a lot of energies to contend with um, and I think the following month we've got some other changes, we've got eclipses coming up and we've also got um, Mercury in retrograde in June Huzzah! Um, so yeah, we've got lots and lots of big changes coming up at the moment. Um, so, um, uh, then we've got our light worker of the month, which is Mahatma Bab Babaji. He is the yoga father and his message for us is that we need to focus on, or at least draw attention to, um, how we're thinking, our thoughts, um, our words and our actions, uh, because um we create our own reality at the end of the day and if we're um saying one thing that's the reality we're creating so really we need to think about is actually that the reality that we want to create um the angel of the month is ambriel and he's all about um mental clarity um peace calm and if you're a light worker he is also very protective um for the crystal of the month we have hematite, very grounding, uh, fabulous for the root chakra and um, balancing and aligning it and also helping to keep our worries and things at bay. Our 
rune of the month is the earth reminding us to stay grounded and um you know uh take part in a meditation practice if we haven't haven't already got one and bring a focus for that particularly at the moment just because there is a lot of changes going on around us and um, some people may be struggling with that right now our colour of the month is blue so that is to promote a sense of peace and tranquility for us um, all while um, helping us with our throat chakra as well because um, the changes in the nodes are going to bring a um, big sense of self-expression so that will be quite important the number that we have for the month is the number five because we're in may and that is um bringing us um a sense of greater stability while um also helping us to make good life choices good decisions and also learning our life lessons from our experiences as well and finally our goddess of the month is the goddess tara she green tara she is um a buddhist goddess and uh, some of her teachings are centered around compassion uh, love and kindness and emptiness so um and some of those things are things that we are really facing this month and um, that, that we need to be exercising more of, of that loving kindness and of that compassion um and she is particularly helpful for relationships so um around venus retrograde i do feel she's going to be very very active around about that time so um if there's um if you need that divine feminine strength that's um who i really would recommend you call in um so yes so libras your card for this month is death don't be frightened by it um it's very misunderstood card people always see it and they they lose it um but it, it's not one necessarily to fear it can be very positive um so this week um it's showing that you know it, a change is coming for um well this month even that uh, you know a change is coming forward for you um that you know you're in the process of cutting people out of your lives who um are no longer those healthy connections that you require you're starting to make changes for your health and your well-being. Um, it's also a sign that you're starting to cut cords with the, um, some really unhealthy attachments and beliefs um, about yourself um, and your life at the moment, which has massive ties with what's going on with um, the retrogrades and the, the full moon. So uh, this is a really positive card for you Librans so be very gentle with yourself um change is never easy um and particularly when it's on um uh, a level where we're really shining the light on our beliefs um so you're really going to be having a good hard look at yourself i would say this month um just be gentle and um do things um for your own self-care this month um healthy things um yeah so be very gentle with yourself but if you'd like um a more in-depth read personal in-depth reading please get in touch um either via facebook um or our website and we'll be able to book in a reading either to be done via video or email uh, i hope you have a lovely may and hope to see you soon thank you